welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for floor beam steel reinforcement details which size is 12 by 18 inches designed for five story commercial building length is 15 feet we used here 16 grade steel rods you can see the span is 15 feet that is the column size of this column is 18 by 15 inches the span between two column is 15 feet and guys you can see clearly at the distance of l by 4 we provided two extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment as you can see the depth is 12 inch the depth is 18 inches with concrete cover and the width is 12 inches with concrete cover without concrete cover the size of this floor beam is 15 by 9 inches if you see guys we have two extra steel rods at the middle which dia is 16 mm at the distance of l by 4 as i discussed in many videos here we have negative bending moment when the load comes on the top of this floor beam If you see the spacing is closely provided at the distance of L by 4 where we have negative bending moment after L by 4 guys you can see the spacing is increase up to 7 to 8 inches but at the distance of L by 4 the spacing is 4 inches if you see guys the dia of stirrup is 10 mm and longitudinal bars dia is 16 mm provided three steel rods at the bottom two at the top Here we have two section one at the distance of L by 4 the other one is after L by 4 here guys you can see lapping is provided at the bottom of this section or at the junction between beam and column total we have five longitudinal bars two are extra steel rods the place of extra steel rods you can also provide crank bar or bent up bar but in that case at the middle of the beam we should provide two bars is it means at the bottom we should provide four bars to are providing at the upward at the method of crank bar guys you can see here we have three bars at the upper portion we have two bars so therefore at the section of aa at the distance of l by 4 we have seven numbers of bars because we have two extra steel rods after l by 4 we have five bars guys you can see the spacing is 4 inches look here at the distance of l by 4 which is very important at both directions guys you can see clearly here if you see on the other side guys we provided cantilever beam at the distance of 3 feet and cantilever beam development length is also very important to provide but they did not provide here it should be provided to make a good bond between steel and concrete If you see guys the firm work is our shuttering is ready after completion of this floor beam this mesh or steel is going to be fixed inside this shuttering if you see guys the first step is placed at the distance of 3 inches and hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree this is also a common mistake if you are working on construction site so be careful especially for these kind of technical terms which i am discussing in this short practical video this is the span of 15 feet cantilever sorry simply supported beam guys you can see that's why because here we have negative bending moment so therefore the spacing of stirrups are closely after that we have increased up to 7 to 8 inches but here you you can see this is 4 to 5 inches we have two sections so therefore this is very important to know about these important tips or technical terms which i am discussing in this short video look here guys thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye